Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can access the starter kit and how you can develop on these. So, to access the starter kit, first we go on to Google and over here we type climate compatible growth. We click on the first link that appears and this takes you to the CCG page. Over on the CCG page we click on research and partnerships and we click on starter data kits. We scroll down and we'll see that there is a map over here. So the map lists all the countries for which the starter kits are available as they are highlighted in this map. So if you let's say want to look at the starter kits for Kenya, you click on Kenya and you will get this sidebar. Let's open both the paper and the dataset repository. Over here, you're going to find the paper that was used in order to develop this model. So in the paper, it is listed the assumptions that were made for the model to be built, where the data was gathered from, and any specifics regarding the model. If you scroll down over here, these are the different contents of the paper. When you're downloading the starter kit, make sure that you read this paper in order to understand how the model was developed properly, so that you know what changes you want to make, what areas are there for improvement, and how the model is specified. So if we come down over here and we click on supplementary files, we're going to find three files which are txt and one that's called appendix. So Kenya fossil fuel is a model of the Kenyan energy system that has the assumptions of a fossil fuel future. So that is that fossil fuels are maximized. The list cost is the list cost standard osmosis model. So the list cost of achieving energy demand. And the net zero is a model of net zero. You can download these files and you can use them in software such as the Osmosis Cloud. These cannot be used, however, in the SAND interface as they are model output already. Now let's look at the appendix. The appendix gives a description of the model specifics again. So this is much more detailed and more concise per se. Over here you can find the model specifics, the assumptions, the reference energy system and some of the results of the model. So if we scroll down over here, here you can see the different results. In this case they're describing the different scenarios. So this is the fossil fuel fossil future scenario, this is the least cost scenario and this is net zero. And if we scroll down there is more results and more analytics. So let's close this and go back onto the page. Over here then, if we go onto the second link we clicked, the Zenodo one, we're going to find many tables as such. So if we click on this, read me, and we open it, this states what each table is. This is the raw data that has been used in building the models. So for example, table one is the installed power plant's capacity in the country. If you want to look at the raw data that was used in building this model, you need to download table one. Then there is the techno-economic parameters, projected cost of renewable power generation, etc. On top of that, there's the Kenya base SAND interface. So you can download this and you can build your model further upon this. So let's download it and have a look at it.
Once it has downloaded, click on Enable Contact. And this is the standard sound interface that you get to build a model. We can look at sets to look at all the technologies that have been defined in this model. As we scroll down, there is more. There is also all the commodities. And essentially, you're welcome to take this model, change the parameters, and constrain it into whatever you want to constrain it to. So this is how you download the starter kits, and this is where the starter kits were located. So on Zenodo, that was the sand interface, which you could download and change. And on Research Square, it was the paper highlighting the assumptions that were used in building this model. Thank you for watching this video.